What's going on witches and wizards? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the Ghost of Our Love quest, which is a treasure hunt of sorts. It can be a bit of a tricky one as there's no tracker to show you exactly what to do. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Okay, here is the quest in the quest line here. Ghost of Our Love. Use the map with floating candles um, to find the treasure. Okay, you're going to get a prize for doing this. It's going to be an appearance prize. So if we go and take a look at the actual map itself, you can see it in your inventory under quest items. Here's the map. It's got a bridge, a forest, there's a, there's a wand, um, and there's like a little archway and some houses. And it can get a little bit confusing when you first look at it to know exactly where you need to go uh, to activate this quest. So let's get into this. So we're going to go over to the map. And it's quite a big map, so which place do we go for this quest? Well, the trees is a bit of a giveaway, it's the forest. So Forbidden Forest is where you're going to want to go to to start this quest off. So bear with me while I just uh, fight with the 3D map just for a second here. <laughs> and here it is, the Forbidden Forest uh, flu entrance. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. And I only fast travel for the sake of the video. I fly everywhere because it's such a beautiful game to fly around in. And here we go. So we've just arrived at the flu entrance. Now turn to the left. Don't go into the forest just yet. You'll see there is a stone bridge. And on the left over here on the pillar, there's a love letter. If we collect it, it says, would you care to join me for a picnic? And something about enjoying Cornish pasties in a good mystery. Okay, no problem. So once you've got the love letter picked up, what you're going to need to do now is just make it nighttime. So let's go ahead and do that. If you don't know how to do that, you go to the map. And then you go ahead and click in your right analog stick and that's going to ask you if you want to rest or wait. You do that and there you go. It's now night time. Now go back over to the pillar where you picked up the love letter from and go ahead and activate one of your spells. That's what the wand kind of represents on the, on the treasure map. And it's going to be Lumos because it looks exactly the same image as the picture there for the spell. Let's go ahead and do it. Lumos, and there are your floating candles. <laughs> now, once you get to this point, you should be okay now going forward. But let's just continue, and I'll show you how it all plays out. So if you don't want any spoilers and you want to do it yourself, you can go from this point, and you should be okay. But we're going to go ahead and follow the candles into the forest now. They actually take you into the Forbidden Forest. And the good thing is there's no real enemies here that to kind of get in your way. If you just stay close to the candles, you should be absolutely fine so you don't lose track of them. Um, but pretty straightforward stuff. Go ahead and follow the candles in. They do move around a bit, so make sure you do keep an eye on exactly where they're going. But, and there's a couple of times they speed off in front of you, so just, uh, just make sure you keep them in your camera's view so you can know exactly where you're going on this one. Uh, follow the candles around to the left here. And then we're going to go up this little verge here to the left as we follow the candles up. And as you can see, there's a little picnic. Lots of candles now appear all around. Very romantic indeed. It's the perfect setting. But what we want is this treasure chest. If we go over and click it, it unlocks the treasure seekers scarf and your quest is now complete. Awesome stuff. Get that lovely 150 or 180. I think that is XP. We definitely want that. And if we go take a look at the gear, I'll show you what the scarf looks like. Let's kind of have a look. So pop on the scarf. It's in your cosmetics under collections. And here it is. Quite a nice looking scarf as well. Goes pretty well with my purple robe. So I might have to wear this for a little bit. Hopefully this video helped you out with this quest, guys. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe. I'll be back at you soon with some more content. But until then, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out. Thank you.